So Dave, a difficult day at the office. Um, where did it all go wrong? From absolute minute one onwards, really. I, well, I, I tell a lie, you know, that it, we just weren't at it, full stop. Credit to them, they're a powerful team. They're going to be up there come the end of the season. They've got players that we could only dream of signing, you know, in terms of the deals they're on and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, it's not about, I didn't even think it was quality that got better of us today. We just weren't were well, at it, you know, normally when we play against Siege, there's always a, a lack of quality compared to them or, or a lack of um, sort of experienced players when we play them. But normally it's just pure uh, effort and desire against the better of them. And, and, you know, we've done that time after time. Today, didn't have that. So, um, you know, it's not an even playing field unless you do that. Those are the things that don't cost money at all. And we weren't uh, where we needed to be today, so... Had a few players returning today. Archie was started today, but obviously Maxi wasn't in the midfield. Do you think his presence was missed today? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. But he's he's an idiot for being sent off. Um, you know, we were about Grigsy also sent off. You know, it can't can't legislate for that. Can't accept that. Um, and it's, it's cost us dear today. Borny we had to take off at half time because he was. You know, the next time he breathed on someone. We were going to get, he was going to get sent off. You know, they were all around the referee constantly. I thought that was supposed to stop, by the way. But anyway, I'm not going to knock them for that. They, they're good at that, and um, and credit to them. You know, I wish, I wish I could do that in my team. Um, but yeah, um, obviously we were missing Maxi for sure. Um, but I think King was a big miss. King is a huge, huge loss for us. Uh, calming influence, and uh, yeah, you know, missing those two hasn't helped. Do you think that once conceding, maybe we seem quite susceptible to conceding another one? It's happened in two games in a row now. Is that a problem within the squad that you're going to try and address? Well, we've, we've been searching defensively for a while. You know, we've now signed Archie, and Archie will come in and do well for us. He did it. You know, he did fine today. He, he's playing out of position. He had to play fullback, which it wasn't his fault. None of it was his fault today. Um, so yeah, we're still we're still searching for the right formula at centre half, you know, it was Tuesday, they were absolutely fantastic, the pair of them. Today, not just them, everybody was absolutely shocking, so, um, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll keep searching and we'll get it right, I'm sure, but, um, yeah. And you mentioned Tuesday, is it a case of just putting water under the bridge and going again next week, or are you going to be having stern words with some of the players ahead of stern Saturday? Words, you know, we'll do that, um, yeah, they, 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 um, they've given me an awful lot for the last five years a lot of these six years a lot of them are still here still doing it still putting it in just today wasn't one of them that was one of the days that didn't work we've had four games so far well three and a half games Walton we were outstanding Tuesday we were outstanding Sholin we were dreadful today we were dreadful that's us at the minute we can't but we can't be content to go oh we're going to be a, a yo-yo type team we've got to be better than that you know I had visions of this team being better than we were last year and yeah, we do look at times we look way better than we do last year, but at other times we look miles off of it, you know. But let's let's let's, let's hark back a year or so ago when we lost six 0 to Swindon, um, at a real key time of the season, and we bounced back and um, you know, had really good good responses to that. So yeah, look, it hurts because it's a local derby and it's got to hurt, and I'm sure it hurts the lads and it will hurt the supporters and and everyone at the football club. Um, and they can have their bragging rights and play their music and dance and sing. We've got to play them again. <laughs> Hopefully, we can we can um, make up for it. But it's not about us and Tottenham. You know, they've got aspirations to be whatever they are. A football league club, I've thought in a couple of years. Um, and you know, they're, they're doing everything they can to do that. And credit to them, they're doing brilliantly up there. So uh, the expectation for them is to beat us. But absolutely, that doesn't mean I accept us to be beaten like that. There's no way in the world we should be chewed up and spat out like that. Um, and so yeah, we will be looking at that in a week and dealing with, with that. And, and you know, we're never a club to have revolving door, bring three or four in, chuck three or four out, that sort of thing. So we'll back them, and I'll back I'll back them to the hilt. Um, and I, I'm not I'm not going to say oh it's the players' fault. It's all of our fault. The whole club have lost that game today. I'm the one who picks the team. The staff are the ones that help me, you know, pick that team. And the players are going to go out and do it. And we've all failed and let let the club down today. So um, yeah, we'll have a long look at it. And uh, 
yeah, watch out for us. I'm sure we'll bounce back. Of course, and you mentioned two local games now, but um, there's another one coming around the corner after the Hayes and Yedding game. Have you got a message for the fans just to just ahead of that game? I guess. Well, can we play them all away? Um, no, um, yeah, obviously we, we, we're not at the moment doing it at home. This time last year, we didn't, we couldn't win a game at home. Um, so yeah, roll on the 3G. Perfect, David. Thank you very much. Cheers.